The other day my entire clan had gathered in shags for my aunt's funeral. So there was this teenage cousin of mine. She stuck by my side weirdly and wanting my attention all the time but not saying anything. But I read something from her body language and I called her aside and uh, talked to her nicely. So it turns out she had wanted to borrow a sanitary pad from me but she didn't know how to start. So I gave her one and uh, gave her space to go and change and uh, then she would come back we continue bonding. Imagine it was her second time receiving her monthly periods and other than me now no one else knew about it, not even her parents. She said she was shying off telling her parents and besides she didn't know how they would react. She also thought her brothers will start fearing her or avoiding her or staying away from her. You know, she just had fears about the whole thing. I told her to never be ashamed of being a girl and everything that comes with it. Monthly menstruation is a biological process which is actually an indication that a woman is fertile and she can have babies and become a mother. It's actually something to be proud of. Even back in primary school, can you imagine boys if they learnt a girl was menstruating? They could not even sit with her on the same desk. Well now thankfully society has changed and uh, it's becoming more accommodative to these kind of things. But for those girls who are still feeling shy, and ashamed of menstruating they should not and for those who think that girls are different just because they're having monthly period that is very wrong honestly it's unfair so i spoke to my cousin's mother on her behalf and surprisingly she was really happy that her daughter is finally a woman she was wondering when it will come and we had a little celebration and now everything is fine. We commit ourselves to promoting equitable and affordable access to sustainable basic physical and social infrastructure for all without discrimination including affordable, safe, healthcare and family planning, education, culture and information and communication technologies.